Just say you have one Windows 10 device and you have installed all the drivers, correct applications and whatnot. So it is ready and you have similar devices, uh, maybe you have 20 or 50 or more devices to configure. So what you can do is you can capture the image of that Windows 10 device and use that image to deploy on the remaining devices. Okay, so with ACCM, it's pretty simple and easy to achieve. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can capture that image and uh, in this video we will create capture media and then after that with the help of that capture media we will capture that Windows 10 OS image. Hello everyone this is Jay Singh welcome to my channel Technext Solutions. Okay so before we start let's have a look at the prerequisites. So the very first one is site status. So make sure your site status is healthy. To check that, open uh, SCCM console and in console in the workspace, change to monitoring. And then here you can see that in navigation pane, system status, extend that and click on site status. And you can see that my site system um, status is healthy and the second thing is network access account make sure you have a network access account configured for the shared network drive so if you have not done that you can do that from administration and then click on site configuration extend that uh, in site configuration you will see sites in sites I have this site here you can see that it is primary site and here up at the top we will click on configure site components extend that and click on software distribution. In software distribution, you can configure network access account. Okay, so make sure this network access account has full permissions on the shared network drive if you have configured that. So for instance, I have configured a shared network drive, I named it applications, and this account, SCCM account I'm using at the moment, it has uh, full permissions on this shared drive, okay? So my SCCM account has full permissions on this shared drive and I have also added my site server as well on this shared network drive. Okay, so site server computer, which is technext-su1 has full permissions on this shared network drive as well because we are going to save our capture media on this network drive. Okay, so I will minimize this and I will close that. And third prerequisite is, which is very important, is your reference computer. Okay, so the reference computer which we are going to use to capture reference image. In this case, reference computer is going to be a virtual machine, which is test-vm01. And um, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind of this virtual machine or of your reference computer. Okay, the first thing is, the local administrator account has to be active okay if I go to computer management I will right click on the start and I will click on computer management so in computer management I will click on local users and groups and click on users you can see that administrator that's a local administrator and this is a built-in administrator as well um, so this account is active and I do not have any other account which is active. This is the only account which is active and it is enabled. And other important thing is there is no password for this account. So make sure there's no password for the administrator for the built-in administrator account, okay? And other thing that you have to keep in mind, if I go to control panel, so in control panel, I will go to system and security and then system. And you can see that this virtual machine is a work group virtual machine. So this is not a domain joint computer. Okay, so make sure your reference computer is a work group machine and it is not domain joint and built in administrator account is active and there is no password for that account. Okay, so once your prerequisites are ready, um, so we are ready to create capture media. That's the first step we are going to do. Okay, so log on to your SCCM server. In my case, it is technext-su1 and you can see that configuration manager console is open and in the workspace, I will change to software library and in navigation pane, I will click on operating systems and you can see here task sequences. 
okay so to create a capture media i will right click on task sequences and i will click on create task sequence media okay so click on that so we will create capture media click on capture media and click on next so here is the media type so i would like to create an iso file okay so this is why i will keep cd forward slash dvd set selected for media file we will browse to network share where we will actually save our iso file this is going to be our capture media so click on browse and you can type in here your network share in my case it is technex dash dc01 applications okay here i will click on images and capture media i have actually created this folder before you can create a new folder or you can put it like here as well if you like however i would like to put it in capture media and i will name it capture o2 and click on save and also you can see that here is the staging folder according to microsoft documentation make sure you have enough um, space on your drive where your staging folder is so it is going to use this space temporarily so uh, at the moment i'm keeping it default i have plenty of storage space not plenty like i have enough i would say uh, in the c drive if i check i got 95 gb free um, so that's plenty and i will click on next so here you will select your boot image okay so make sure you have a compatible boot image and it, this boot image has to be compatible to your reference computer as well okay so i've got 64 bit uh, comp reference computer the vm that i am going to use test dash vm01 which is our reference computer okay that one is 64 bit so that's why we will use 64 bit boot image okay so i will click on browse and boot image is x64 okay and make sure this boot image is also deployed and um, it's available on the distribution point okay you can see that image id is here uh, architecture 64 bit okay i will select x64 bit click ok and distribution point so select your distribution point where this image is available for now this is available on technex onetechnexlocal i will click on ok and then click on next so here you will see the summary uh, once you are happy with that and click on next i will say yes to uac and here you can see the status it is processing then it will start uh, building our capture media okay so we can actually go to the folder here uh, and i will go to the applications drive where we are saving our capture o2 media and images and capture media you will see that your capture o2 will be saved here okay so it's still processing i won't open it so i will minimize this and you can see that our media is ready so i will close this and now what i will do is i will copy this capture o2 and i will save it on the host machine in the documents folder So now we have our capture media. Our second step is to make our reference computer ready and um, make our capture media ready so that we can capture our reference computer image. So to do that, uh, what I will do is I will actually attach the ISO file which we have capture O2 ISO file to test-vm01 to do that. Uh, so I will right click on the, this VM and go to settings and um, I will go to SCSI controller and DVD drive, click on add, image file, browse, and I will browse to documents and capture O2 is available here and open that and hit apply and click on OK. If you have a physical computer as your reference computer, you can use a USB drive as well. So you can plug in the USB drive and you can go from there and mount that ISO file to your Windows 10 reference computer and run the capture media okay so now let's go to test dash vm01 i will close this dialog box because we don't need this anymore and i will open file explorer and click on this pc 
and you can see that our capture media is connected and is ready okay now in this step we are going to use our capture media to capture our reference computer so i will double click on configuration manager capture media which we have just created so in capture media if i double click on launch media so it will open a visit so it will the, that visit will help us to capture our reference image so if i right click on launch media and click on edit you can see that it will start sms bin i36 ts mb autorun.exe so this is the file it actually starts so let's just close that so i will double click on launch media so here is the visit you can see so i will click on next on that so here is the destination so i will select the destination where i would like to save the reference computer image so in my case i am going to use a network path however you can use a local drive as well okay i just make sure the local drive is not the same drive where windows is installed so it has to be a different drive okay so but in this case in this test case i am going to use a network path so i will click on browse and here i will enter the network path and i will click on go to technex dc one backward slash applications so it will prompt me to enter the credentials so that i can access this network path okay so username i will enter my domain name and username so i'm using SCCM account so password and also i will tick on remember my credentials click ok so here i will select folder in images and reference vim and i will name it install or two click on save and account name so here again you have to enter the account name because this system is going to restart and it is going to remember that account name and password okay so account name which is um, domain name backward slash um, the account name and password for that account so once you're happy with the details you have provided you can click on next and created why i will say tech next and version 1.0 and you can add description as well if you like okay so once this is ready i will click on next again and now we will click on finish so the capturing of reference media will start soon so as you can see that capture media is preparing SCCM client and after that it is actually initializing it and after that you will see sysprep will happen and I will be back once it is all ready Okay, so our reference install.vim is ready and it has been captured and once it will finish successfully, you will see this message on the screen. So what I will do is I will click on OK and um, so I will just turn this off. And if I go to SCCM server and I will go to um, images, which is the network shared drive and i will open reference vim so you can see that install 02.vim is ready here okay so this install.vim has captured the reference computer it should include all the installed applications or customizations you have made and drivers as well for the reference computer from where we have collected this vim so in this video we looked at how to create windows 10 capture media then after that we actually captured windows 10 image as well so if you feel like this video was informative give it a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing to my channel and also um, click on the bell icon to get all the latest notifications i will see you in the next video